Rabindranath Tagore was born on the 7th of May 1861. He died on the 7th of August 1941. He was also known by his sobriquets Gurudev, Kabaguru and Biswekabi. He was a polymath, poet, musician and artist from the Indian subcontinent. He reshaped Bengali literature and music. He also gave another dimension to Indian art with contextual modernism. He won Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913. He translated Gitanjali in English in collaboration with W. B. Yeats. Gitanjali was full of profoundly sensitive, fresh and beautiful verse. He was the first non-European Nobel laureate. All clips may not represent the story. Watch to become bilingual as the video is specially made for English learners. Tagore's poetic songs were viewed as spiritual and mercurial. However, his elegant prose and magical poetry remain largely unknown outside Bengal. He is sometimes referred to as the Bard of Bengal. He was a Brahmo from Calcutta with ancestral gentry roots in Jessa. At the age of eight, he wrote poetry. And at 16, he released his first substantial poems under the pseudonym Banasinga, Sun Lion. He was a humanist, universalist, internationalist and ardent anti-nationalist. He denounced the British Raj. He advocated independence from Britain. He was an exponent of the Bengal Renaissance. He advanced a vast canon that comprised paintings, sketches and doodles, hundreds of texts, and some 2,000 songs. He founded Visva Bharati University. Rabindranath modernized Bengali art by spurning rigid classical forms and resisting linguistic strictures. His novels, stories, songs, dance dramas and essays were both political and personal. Gitanjali, Song Offerings, Gora, Fair Faced, and Gare Bear, The Home and the World, are his best-known works. His verse, short stories and novels were acclaimed for their lyricism, colloquialism, naturalism and unnatural contemplation. His compositions were chosen by two nations as national anthems. One was India's Jana Gana Mana and the other was Bangladesh's Amar Shonar Bangla. The Sri Lankan national anthem was also inspired by his work. The original surname of the Tagores were Kashari. They were Rari Brahmins and originally belonged to a village named Kush in the district named Burdwan in West Bengal. He was the youngest of 13 surviving children of his parents. Rabindranath was shortened as nickname, Rabi, the son. He was born in the Jorasanko mansion in Calcutta to Debendranath Tagore and Sarada Devi. He was raised mostly by servants. His mother had died in his early childhood. Besides, his father used to travel widely. His father invited several professional Drupad musicians to stay in the house and to teach Indian classical music to the children. Rabindranath's eldest brother was Dwijendranath. He was also a philosopher and poet. Another brother Satyendranath was the first Indian appointed to the elite and formerly all-European Indian civil service. Yet another brother Jyotirindranath was a musician, composer, and playwright. His sister Swarnakumari became a novelist. Jyotirindranath's wife Kadambari Devi, slightly older than Tagore, was a dear friend and powerful influence. Soon after Rabi's marriage, she committed suicide in 1884. Her abrupt death was unbearable. It left him profoundly distraught for years. He avoided classroom schooling. He preferred roaming the manor or nearby Bolpur and Panahati. His brother Hemendranath tutored and made him swim in the Ganges or trek through hills. The brother also made him practice gymnastics such as judo and wrestling. Rabindrath learned drawing, anatomy, geography, history, literature, mathematics, Sanskrit and English. He believed that proper teaching should not explain things. It should arouse curiosity. His father Debendranath wanted his son to become a barrister. He enrolled at a public school in Brighton, East Sussex, England in 1878. He stayed for several months at a house near Brighton and Hove. The house was their own. There he briefly read law at University College London. Again he left school. He studied Shakespeare's plays and others. He returned to Bengal in 1880. Then he regularly published poems, stories and novels. These had a profound impact within Bengal but received little national attention. 
In 1883 he married 10-year-old Imrinalini Devi. Early marriage was a common practice at that time. They had five children. Two of them died in childhood. In 1890 Rabindranath started managing his vast ancestral estates in Shelaidaha in Kusha. There his wife and children also joined him in 1898. He released his Manasi poems in 1890. As Zamindar Babu, he criss-crossed the Padma River in command of the Padma, the luxurious family barge. He collected mostly token rents and blessed villages. So, they honored him with banquets, occasionally with dried rice and sour milk. Rabindranath met Gagan Harkara. He introduced Rabi with Baal Lalan Shah whose folk songs greatly influenced Tagore. Then he worked to popularize Lalan's songs. Source, Wikipedia. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.